headed to clean up the fence line. It's gotten a little out of control lately, so we're trying to get it under control again. Yeah, I don't mind. So I'll show I you what I did this week. I got all this part clear, all the way to the corner. Now I just gotta wait for Ty to be done with the mower so we can start mowing all this tall stuff down. I think it might be time to get one of those torches and burn under the bottom wire of barbed wire to help keep the trees knocked back. This is what it looks like. And then up here is what we've got cleared off again. All right guys, so we just are leaving the post office. We've got 25 black stars and our little free chick in there. So now we're gonna head home and get them fed and watered. Ty, Caroline, and Kayla are on their way to the mailbox. Mailbox? No, not mailbox. Post office to pick up more chicks. We have our first batch of new layers on the way. So while they're gone, I've been getting the brooder ready. Got some shavings out, got their water, got their feed, got the propane going again. So they got some heat because they're babies. Even though it's going to be 90 something degrees today, we're just going to make sure. So while they're off getting the chicks, I'm getting this ready. And when they come back, I'm sure Ty will get you posted. They're here again. All right, guys, so we met back home. We got our baby chicks. Let's get these guys in the brooder. Dad got the propane on for us. Go ahead, heat it up. Got water, feeder. All right. Let's show you what all we got. All right, so these are a bunch of black stars, except that one, obviously. But these are all black stars. They're unsexed. We got 25 here, and then our, plus our free chick. So let's get all these settled in the brooder. Take a couple of them, dip their beaks. You don't have to do them all. Just a couple. Some people say you don't have to do it at all. I just like to do just a few. I think this batch I'll just do four beaks. And then I'll take them all out. Let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can see they're already starting to look at the feed. And this one, you can see it's got a little back. Feathers pulled out. Could just be from transport where the other chicks were kind of pecking at it. And it's the smallest one. Actually, two of these small ones have it. So I don't know, we'll see if they make it. But you can see they're already starting to get interested in the feed. Oh no. So I just opened this to feed these guys and there was a rat in here. A rat, I saw it, and mice. We've got a predator problem. We just lost probably half of the chicks we got yesterday. Some of them made it. But I'm afraid we have a problem. Ty is not going to be happy. I'm up this morning early because we have a farm tour to go to. So I'm doing chores early. That wasn't a good start. Snicker has been sleeping on the job, apparently. Not sure what to do about this one because I don't know where they're getting in. 
I did see a mouse crawl through the chicken wire there. There's a lot of moths in here. But as far as the big rat, I didn't see where he went. He's probably just crawling through a gap in the door or something. <clears throat> Man, that's a bummer. It's 12 o'clock, so we're gonna take a short break and get uh, meat birds watered and fed again. Chicken is hot meat, beef is cold meat. Today me and dad are putting a post in the middle of the post I put in. And then we are going to get this coop hopefully all wired um, today. We're going to go get find another cedar. Well, Dad finishes up these holes. I have a fun job. Yeah, that way we can finish the post. Right now, Dad is getting the holes dug. We got to go cut one more cedar. Alrighty, guys, so we're back here. Close to our back pasture. Our back pasture has some cedars in it. So that's why I'm going way back here. Hopefully we can find a good one. Walking up this hill. There's one, but it's way too big. I'll show you it right now. There's that one right there. But that's way too big for what we need. So I think I'm going to have to walk all the way back to that wood line to see if there's anything back there. Alrighty, guys. No luck over there either. 
I just went back. Y'all can't see it. Let me get down here a little bit more. Back to the back pasture. Some uh, to look in those woods some more. Just to go check again. I still didn't see anything. We have a couple cedar posts up near the house that are already cut. So let's go see if those are the right length and see if there's something we can use up there. Alrighty guys, so I'm back where I was. Still looking for a cedar tree. They're either way too big or way too small. I'm gonna walk that way a little bit. Um, Hopefully I can see one. Kind of looking around, I'm not looking at y'all um, for cedar trees. So hopefully I can find one. I know I'm staying cool, I don't know if dad is. He's over there still digging holes, it sounds like. But yeah, I'm gonna head this way. See if we can see anything over there. Alrighty guys. So dad just said the one he just put in, he thinks is tall enough for to cut off and make another one. So let's go see. That would be nice that way. Because I'm not seeing any other good cedar trees. I think I already said, but they're either too small or too big. So let's go check out what dad's got going on. Right, so it's that one right there. Get a little closer. You can see that's the height of the other one. So we should be able to get the rest of that for a post. 